presidents. They would not rule out the possibility of preserving a nucleus of human specimen. It would not be too difficult in our deeper mine shafts. The radiation would never penetrate so deep. People could live safely there. How long would you have to stay down there? Cold Lord Thorium G, uh, with a half life of, uh, I would say, uh, perhaps 100 years. You mean people could stay down there for 100 years? It would not be difficult, my fear. But nuclear reactor, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. President, nuclear reactors could provide power almost indefinitely. Greenhouses would make it possible to have plant life. Animals could be bred and slaughtered. <laughs> I would think that we would be able, after we survey our mine sites, to have at least a few hundred thousand of our people living there. But if this site begins to live. It, it, it would not be necessary. Computers could be programmed to select the people with the requisite skills and qualities. Of course, it would be essential that the military and political leaders be included. And when they're there, they will breed prodigiously now. There will be much time and, and little to do. I think it would be necessary to have a ratio of, say, 10 females to each male. And then we could return to the current gross national product within, say, 20 years. But, Doctor, wouldn't this nucleus of survivors be so grief stricken and anguish about those that they left behind that they would envy the dead and wouldn't want to go on living? There would be no such horrible memories because the people would still be alive when they got on the ground. And there'll be a tremendous spirit of adventure for what lies ahead. the abandonment of the so-called monogamous sexual relationship? I mean, as far as men were concerned? Regrettably, yes, but it is a sacrifice that will have to be made for the future of the human race. And, and since the men will be called upon to perform heroically in this regard, the women will have to be selected for their sexual characteristics, which will have to be of an extremely stimulating nature. I must confess, you have an astonishingly good idea there, Doctor. Mr. President, I think we should look at this from a military viewpoint. We must not allow a mine shaft gap. Mine fear! 